Shalom. First of all, I'd like to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, that's the Heavenly Father and His Son. Alright, and double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, alright, and the elders of Great Millstone also. Now, this is an article in the Financial Times, so this video is going to be based upon the news, alright, recent news. It says, Cybersecurity undersea cables at risk of Russia attack, warns UK Armed Forces Chief. So right here what you've got is some um, propaganda between uh, the UK and Russia and the US, alright? So NATO and Russia. Now you're all constantly hearing in the news about, um, you know, NATO, deem uh, basically the West demonising um russia which they're both demons man all right it's all esau's kingdom anyway man that's why the scripture says um um if satan be divided against satan how shall he stand both both of them are just on their own thing uh you know with sanctions and um various propaganda to um make the people hate in their various countries hate Russia or hate the West, the US, the US and all their different allies. But the reason I brought this article out um, is to show you that um, there's an issue or a risk with the uh, with the internet. All right, and as you know, we use the Urim and internet is the Urim and Thurim, or the way that we use uh, ha how we propagate this word, how we push this truth out into the four corners of the earth as as according to prophecy all right to wake up the lord's elect so um it shows you time is short man and this this uh this article hints to that we're closer and closer to the point where the, the lord's um men are us you know the men are already sealed man but um even in the last hour you know, there's there's men that's gonna be sealed, so we're we're way into that last hour, man. So repentance is 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 um, paramount, man. So I just wanted to push that vibration out there, uh, that and hope that brothers receive this uh, message and um, repent, man. So anyway, I'm not gonna go on too long. It says the head of the UK's armed forces has warned of the growing risk of a Russian attack on undersea communications, cables posing a potentially catastrophic threat to the internet and international trade in the latest escalation of London's war of words with Moscow. So they've been back and forth, uh, you know, a considerable amount. So it says, in a speech at the Royal United Services Institute, a military think tank, Air Chief Marshal Sir Stuart Peach, the chief of the UK Defence Staff, said the UK and its NATO allies were facing a step change in military aggression from Russia across a number of fronts. So there you go, man, is equal 38. All right. Um, prophecy about the growing um, tensions between the the people the 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 countries mentioned Salakio but he singled out recent concerns about Russian vessels with the ability to cut and interfere with deep sea cables which carry ninety seven percent of global communications and ten ton ten trillion in dollars daily financial transactions according to report by policy exchange think tank so really they're saying that um it could affect the economy you know which esau could easily use that to bring in the rfid chip so that's another way that they um prophecy can be fulfilled it's not only um turning off the internet to stop the word from going out but also um they can bring in um force everybody to take that rfid chip um so that everyone so-called can trade um, with um, a cashless society and so forth. Now, from here, I just wanted to 
bring out a scripture uh, which is Amos 8 and 11 it says behold the days come saith the Lord power that I will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread nor a thirst of water but of the hearing of the words of the Lord and this article um, shows you that we're getting closer to a famine of the word if the internet does successfully be shut down and that, that time is going shorter and shorter so anyway with that i'm gonna say shalom